Hello and welcome to uh, this part of our Path to Redwood uh, update uh, demonstration. So we have done a successful update of the development environment from 23.10 to 24.6. We have run, of course, post-install database update. We have run the repository upgrade and we have delivered everything up to the main workspace, which is the workspace that we can migrate to a higher environment. So I have that higher environment already updated to 24.6. And uh, we have discovered that there is the data make INP file, which you must grab from your log folder. So trying to find that. Yeah, so that is the input file for the application data service to transport the seed data portion of the repository upgrade into the higher environment through the incremental or full migration. So it defines the file with the, the records which must be exported so they can be imported into the RR environment and without that those records wouldn't be there and probably lots of stuff would, would not work. So make sure to uh, grab that. The other three portions of the repository upgrade, that is the repository part itself, the manifest, OpenUI manifest, that's super important for Redwood, and the schema changes, they will be transported through the regular uh, services in the migration, but still we need to pick a lot of services. So let's start with preparing in the migration application, let's do a fresh login, prepare migration plan for the repository upgrade. So we have, of course, you can reuse migration plans, but so that's repository upgrade. And that is post RU migration to RR. And it's going to be incremental, but asynchronous, because I have an asynchronous setup here. Synchronous would be, of course, uh, include two connections. So I want to export from dev, uh, of course, incrementally. That includes the incremental repository, runtime repository data, the schema uh, data as well. So that would pick up the schema changes made by the repository upgrade. And that would the other one would pick up the repository changes. Now let's pick up the uh, application workspace data, the workspace enabled application data, which is uh, LOVs. So we also want to incrementally uh, deliver that uh, LOV. That is, for example, the Redwood uh, dropdown value for the settings. And we have to pick the application data service. And for the application data service to work, make sure that you have in your migration location, in the INP folder, you have copied over that data make INP from the repository upgrade. So that's the input file for that service. Uh, yeah, many people are not very familiar with that application data service, but that's how it works. So four services, four, four different things that the repository upgrade has produced in this environment. And I'm gonna save that migration plan. And now before I can execute it, because I'm asynchronous, I have to pick the watermark from the test or the higher environment manually because it's asynchronous. So here I am in the migration application of the higher environment, but let's quickly check out the higher environment. So it is not featuring a redwood as of now, and it's definitely up updated. So I've completed the update including post-install database setup. But the repository upgrade, I have to migrate uh, into here. So the repository version is still 23.10 here. And also I have one full, full migration and I have one incremental migration after that. So my main version will be increased. So I can definitely, it's an RR environment. And so I can manually extract the watermark. So let's call that WM test two because I already have one. And that would take a few moments. So let's wait. So 
yeah, watermark has been generated. In a synchronous migration, this is taken care of automatically. And in my migration location on the target system, I have the watermark. So I have to <laughs> migrate that watermark file to the development environment by simply copying it over to a shared folder I have here. And then picking it up from there. So here we are on the development environment. So I'm just copying over the watermark file into my development file system in the migration folder so I can pick it up. Oh, it's called WMTest2. So now I can go to the migration application and run that migration plan, execute that migration plan that I put together. And of course I want to incremental ru call it call the zip file point to the file and get the workspace detail so it will know from the watermark that main was the source of the full migration for that rr environment and there's only one version 19 to migrate of course there could be more versions to migrate so the that version 19 of course has all the uh, juicy stuff for our path to Redwood on the RR environment. So let's run this migration export. So again, it's an asynchronous migration I'm doing. For a synchronous migration, of course, that would be imported right away into your target. So here we stop at the zip file. So let's monitor it a little bit. Uh, so of course, uh, all kinds of stuff kicks off and runs including the schema export, the schema changes, as we know, the incremental runtime repository data service, that's the repository part, the application workspace data service, the application data service. So that's already succeeded. So let's check out the log file. And it's actually, it's picking up that IMP file and exporting these 31 rows, uh, sorry, 61 rows and well, that will be part of the package now. So that's how you do it. And we already have the LOVs. So now we know there was 18 LOV values in the C in the LOV data for all the repository upgrades since 23.11. And they are now waiting to be migrated over. And the other two will probably run longer. Well, the schema service has finished exporting the schema. And uh, the repository, up, uh, sorry, the repository part, the runtime repository export is still running and it is exporting the manifest. So we can see those tables here. And it's also, well, ex uh, it's actually finished right now. Okay, so that's good. And so we probably have the schema service still running. Yeah, so let's wait for the schema service and the packaging process to finish. And yeah, uh, the migration app tells us execution has completed. So that sounds grim, but uh, in our case, it's positive. So a successful export of all these artifacts that the repository upgrade has produced. And now we are ready or we can get ready to move that zip file since we're doing an asynchronous migration i'm going to use my shared folder here transport that zip file over to the target environment so here i am on the target environment uh, ready to transfer that zip file And now in the migration app, let's create a migration plan just for the sake of demo to import asynchronously into our environment. Uh, that's the repository upgrade import. Let's just repeat that here. And of course we must pick the same services that we used for export. So everything will be picked up application data service and let's not forget the LOVs, the incremental application workspace data service. Okay, so that's our migration plan.
and we have the file ready. Let's just make sure we have the correct file name. So we can run this ru import with that zip file and we have some data to fill in. So the password for the Siebel owner uh, and of course the rest is filled in already. And let's yeah, hit it. <laughs> it's an incremental import. So it will run pretty fast. So the schema service, uh, the schema service must run because the, the schema changes have to be synchronized. And there are definitely schema changes happening. So that runs first, will take the longest time probably. Uh, so, and then we can see the other services are lined up, including a cache refresh. So we are hopeful that we can, uh, yeah, run the Redwood theme on our test or production environment in a few minutes. So I'll pause the video until this part is finished. So this has taken just a few minutes, uh, so under five minutes to complete and allow the big day, of course, <laughs> uh, big time is ahead. So we, uh, we can refresh that here. So we have an increment in our repository base version, <laughs> the, the main uh, the main workspace in our RR environment has been incremented. And so we can, well, log in again, fresh, probably the safest. So here's the 24.6 entire login page, but we still run. So don't expect your end users to have Aurora right away because you have to select it as a theme and they might have selected, well, they have selected any other theme or it's the default. So now uh, let's see if the incremental migration val invalidates the cache. So if we go to side menu, well, yeah, there it is. Redwood can be selected. So the LOV cache, LOV import, LOV cache has worked. So we save that, log out one more time and log back in and voila, there's Redwood on the RR environment as well. So everything working as expected. Thanks to the power of the incremental migration, we can migrate even a repository upgrade for, for of eight months worth of, of information or even more, of course, into the test and then finally production environment and have users use the new Redwood theme in 24.6 and higher, of course. So yeah, with that, our path to Redwood is complete. We have reached <laughs> the Redwood shores, if you will. And with that, I'll fa bid you farewell. Uh, thanks very much. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>